started. Oh. And we're live now. <laughs> yeah, now it says it's yeah. live. Live. Hold on. Oh, I just want to make sure it actually starts up on YouTube. Oh, it's Saturday Night Live. <laughs> We've been sued. I don't think that's actually copyrighted. Also, it I don't live now. at the Roxbury, so... Hello, man. Mine still says live. It says yeah, we're says live. on YouTube. It works. Yeah, it says yeah. yeah. It's probably a huge delay. I imagine. Fuck, goddamn thing wouldn't. YouTube. Oh, it looks like it started a new video link. That's why. So the event was just a. YouTube. You. No, is it just a temporary thing? I don't know. I'm trying to click on it now. Well, let me add sources. There it goes. Now it says live. Well, it shows a buffering bar yes. anyway. All right, so if I were to turn this on now. That's okay. I'll just bring it up on my tablet. Oh, we can say hello. 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 And welcome to hello. our pending chats. We're doing yeah. more of these, and this is... We're trying this. I should turn this down. Source already exists? What are you talking about? Yeah, mine was saying that, too. <laughs> no, I don't want that. What are you doing? Gaming. <laughs> YouTube gaming. Yeah, yeah I get it. It doesn't seem like it wants to successfully do the overlay. No. <sighs> or do anything properly. Ever... Why? And the sound of silence. It seems like it wants to successfully do the overlay. Go away, sound. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So let's see. Is is the chat thing working? Has someone actually tried to add? I'm in chat. It's not working on Google Hangouts. Well, all right. As long as we're watching chat. I'll do pop out and through. Yeah, I have it up on my tablet. So, I will do it and put it on my center screen, so it does not. So I'm not not looking at the camera. Not not. Did it? Did it successfully send out our tweets? Um. Photos. Tweets. Healthy food. Healthy food. Doesn't yes, look like it did. Did it? Yes, it did. Well, oh, maybe mine's not updating fast enough. Why aren't you updating fast enough, Twitter? There it is. New tweets. <laughs> Fuck Twitter. Come on now. Alright. I should probably get Twitter on my phone. Whatever Twitter. Whatever oh, Twitter app. Alright. <clears throat> so let's actually get this going. And we'll yeah. just... We're learning as we go since we're doing this yep. through Google. We're professionals. <laughs> um, otherwise, yeah. So uh, shall we begin with our CES... Kind of their coverage, but not really, because we're not actually there. <laughs> we watched it. Um, but next year, everybody. <laughs> next year. <laughs> next um, year. Woo. So, yeah, we got uh, got Brian Live going CES first. right now. Yeah, we're there in, in separate Intel areas. is doing their keynote, and they're having some parkour guy jump around stuff using, and they're tracking him using Curie. Oh, I don't know if that's a very good. Keynote, I give up on fucking Intel. Like it just seems ridiculous right now. Hey, it's whatever, man. Yep. So uh, CES is the Consumer Electronic Show, and a bunch of you know, all the big names <coughs> for Microsoft, apparently, in the technological world, come and they show stuff off to the public for three days. But the day before yep. the three days is known as press day, and it's the day where everyone talks about their new products, does, you know, speeches and brings bands and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, kicking off this morning was Canon, the camera maker. They have announced two... That makes they, sense. Uh, yeah, upgraded uh, two PowerShot cameras that... Mm. SX540HS. Couldn't come up with a better name. And the other one is the ELP-H360HS. That's cool. Even better name. Uh, the first one is at the professional level of the point-and-shoot cameras. It has 24 megapixels. is a 50 times optical zoom. Ooh. 50 times. That's ridiculous. Uh, it has a Digic 6 processor, 1080p at uh, 
1080p oh. video at 60 oh. frames per second, there which isn't that impressive anymore. Um, but it's going to have a release price of $400, which is pretty reasonable for this camera. The other one is definitely at the consumer level of point-and-shoot cameras, 22 megapixels, CMOS sensor, Digic 4 processor, not that fast, not that slow. Um, and it has a 12 times optical zoom, which is about a 25 to 300 millimeter equivalent. And it has a price of $210, which is pretty standard. Okay. So. Yeah, cameras. Cameras. Tell and they're introducing <laughs> um, the Vixia HFG40, which is a camcorder. Uh, Canon has not been putting a lot of effort into their video side lately because they keep incorporating into their DSLRs more, but there is a new one finally in it. There it is. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool looking. It is a cool um, looking video camera. Yeah, it has a 20 times HD optical zoom lens. Um, it has an HD CMOS Pro image sensor. It has a 3.5 OLED screen. It also tilts, and it's a touch screen. Um, also 1080p at 60 FPS, which is kind of underwhelming for a camcorder these days. Yeah. But it does have dual card slots, dual, dual SD card slots, which is really, really nice. Okay. Um, and it has a starting price of $1,300, which I don't really know if that's good or bad, but it seems a bit high for no. something that doesn't have 4K. No. You said 60 FPS. Don't, like, most GoPros and everything go well above 60 FPS? For oh, yeah. Yeah, my, so yeah, my why... GoPro Hero 4 Black uh, shoots 4K at 120 FPS. So that's good slow motion video stuff? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. That's a so GoPro. Why, why did they go 60 FPS then? Are they like stuck in the dark and realizing 60 FPS isn't a thing? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. Why not? It's, they are trying to push the limits every day. Yeah, 60 They're... FPS. We have base-ass gaming computers that can do that. Yeah. Um, let's go. Well, you got to remember, too, this is more for human consumption. We can't human consumption? Die. There's fucking five-year-olds running around with go GoPros. Yeah, well... Yeah, there, there's also something to be said when an iPhone can shoot v better video than a camcorder. Is this really a good no, consumer it, product? People think they can, so they use their iPhones for that. They don't. Well, the newest icons can shoot 4K. They can shoot 120 frames per second. Yeah, they yeah, can shoot yeah. Shoot it raw. Don't Even use your older iPhones to do 120 frames per second. <laughs> yeah, it's just I get I get the need to use a tool designed specifically to do a certain thing. Right. And I'm sure this thing excels when it comes to processing power and audio levels and, you know, yeah. all these other things. But just on the surface, it doesn't seem that impressive. No, right. especially with the 60 FPS. It's, I don't know a lot about any of this shit, but that just mm -hmm. seems meh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that pretty, uh, pretty small showing from Canon. Holy uh, shit, it's $1,300. Yeah, $1,300. Camcorders are very that expensive. Yep. How much are GoPros? Like 600 500 at max, I think. But this is something oh. you wouldn't use. Like, this is something you'd use in, like, if we had were together and had, like, our actual little studio, we might use something like this. Right. Or, or we might use an actual camera. GoPro. No, GoPro because you would not use in that situation. <laughs> no, but yeah. With a mic. Uh, like yeah. I said, I don't know a lot about this. But GoPro's as a consumer who doesn't know shit that would be interested in buying a video camera, I'd be like... Thirteen hundred dollars for this, and it doesn't do hundred. Yeah. Yes, when I could pay five hundred dollars for a GoPro, and if I drop it, it's probably not going to break because it's got that cool case. Right. Uh, uh, so I, yeah. I could put it on a helmet. Yeah. Uh, also, I think these probably would last longer than a GoPro battery-wise. Yeah, that's true. GoPros last pretty long. Do they? They go a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, Cannon. So when I saw the uh, Google Doc, Brian, I thought you were just yeah. stating your name is Brian and that is Canon. So I was like, okay, that's fucking weird. I didn't even think that Canon was a camera. <laughs> cameras. I know they are. Here we go. I was like, what the wow. Fuck? All right. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's Whatever. Uh, um. <laughs> yeah. So next and up, before we finish, is the whole uh -huh. screen flipping thing supposed to be so if you are like recording like a studio type situation? I have so no you, idea. You know, because it's pointed that way like it is on the side right now in the picture. Think well, like it, Vice it, News holding a camera out to so you can, like, selfie video yourself. Right. That's the, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's, that's what, what it would be used for, yeah. And then, like, yeah. uh, like even older video cameras that 
I have one somewhere. It's yeah. probably yeah. garbage. So you, so you can, can put do it on that a tripod with a, and frame yeah. it up while you're in front of it, so you right. can like interview yourself. You can't do that with a camera, which a lot of people use for recording, but usually they have people behind the camera. Right. Um. So, you, so you, and you can't use this for like a GoPro. So it, it, in that case, like you know, news type coverage or things like that live would definitely be useful. Yeah. For these type of camcorders. I guess. That right. Other things don't yeah. have. Well, all camcorders have that flip screen, so that's right. Yeah, yeah. Deal. Right. And I'm pretty sure mine's a touchscreen too, and it's like a hundred dollar camera. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, it just baffles me. <laughs> <laughs> so next up on our list of, of companies is Harman Kardon, uh, who's an audio manufacturer, if you don't know. And they have new Omni Plus speakers. Ooh, uh, the Omni 10 Plus, the Omni 20 Plus, the Omni Bar, the Adept Plus, and the Omni 50. And they're all independent speakers, which is cool, but they can all be linked, uh, be linked together, so it can That's turn into a 3.1 or 5.1 surround system. But no wires, I'm guessing? No, it'd be all uh, You can buy an add-on for $130 to be able to plug something into it. Okay, because I, I, as much as I like wireless stuff and I think it's cool, the issue is today in our world we have hundreds of signals flying through our houses nowadays. And anything to make Thousands. it to where you don't have another Bluetooth signal running through the house is like good in my book. I actually have no Bluetooth it, signals. It doesn't use... House. It doesn't have to use Bluetooth. No, but however it's they connect. Primary, yeah, its primary connectivity <laughs> is probably one of the first products we've seen to use 5G Wi-Fi. Oh. Well, I guess if you want so. to stream real good audio. Um... Yeah, really Well, really I've always thought, because I always had, like, it was probably a couple of years ago, I had Bluetooth speakers for work. Like, wouldn't it be cool if I could just, like, pair with everybody else with Bluetooth speakers so we can all yeah. listen to the same thing, like, surround sound at work? Right. And now but they why? started doing that. I was like, fuck yeah, that's awesome. I'm really why excited. do they call them 5G Wi-Fi? It's because it's the fifth generation Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Okay. So I'm it's pretty sure they're changing from Wi-Fi now. I saw something about that. Because when you think 5G Wi-Fi, you're thinking of like the next Wi-Fi that they're going to be coming out with phones and shit. Like you think right. of like 5G yeah. data. But it's, that's not how it works when it's connected directly to your router. It's just dependent on your router speed. Right, exactly. So um, it's a little bit, yeah. But this isn't. <laughs> Uh yeah 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 yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um it can't it is Bluetooth supported uh okay. and you the little plug in hundred and thirty dollar plug in add on adds an Ethernet and an audio or an auxiliary import okay so so you are, so you'd have to Bluetooth or Wi Fi connect to through your phone to get to that instead of having an aux cord you could probably yeah um, right I imagine you that's kind of annoying that they don't have a built in aux cord. It is. Okay. Well, yeah. not when they're like, you know, they're the kind of speakers that be placed on ceilings and corners and shit. You would never have a central location to really plug one in necessarily. But then they're right. all going to be... Except for the bar, the, which... They're going to be all wireless. wireless. Well, that's what they are. Okay. Yeah, they're all wireless. Unless you want to get that on for $129. I'm right. guessing that's only for one speaker? Is that for the whole package? Probably. Probably just for one, for one speaker. <laughs> yeah. um, so the smallest little one in there, the little 10 plus, is $200. The right. biggest one, the bar, is nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Those yeah, bars are actually really, really badass, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, but if you're gonna get the system, like the full system, you're looking close to two grand. Some people are fucking into that. Like we like computer Fair. stuff, yeah. and people like having surround sound for their TVs. Well, I like having surround sound. It's just I don't, you know, have my own place right now. But once I have my right. own place, I'll have a surround. I've never sound had surround sound, so I don't know how awesome it would be. It's, it's really nice. Cool. It's good for watching movies in, you know. Yeah, it like is. it's nothing compared to your computer. If you have a nice TV with, a, even if it's an older surround sound system with the old school plugs and everything, it's still better than just the TV sound. Yeah, the old gold cable. And you can get thing. the subwoofer going too, so you get the really good bass when like something happens in the movie. It's nice. Bass, it's nice bass, to have. Bass, 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 bass. Yep. I have like a thousand feet of gold audio cable. <laughs> yeah, I got some of that shit. Nah, a thousand feet. So of that shit. breaking <laughs> in. To the the live Intel keynote, <gasps> some Iron Man champion has come out onto the stage to coach uh, our speaker on how to run. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so obviously, they're focusing, Pace on fitness. they're focusing on fitness for the keynote, obviously. And they're also focusing on like um, the VR tracking and stuff. Yeah. Well, I was telling Brian this earlier. I understand why they're focusing on fitness because it's after the new year, and this is when most fitness stuff is going to be sold. Oh yeah, totally. because of all the New Year's resolutions. I made a resolution. My resolution was not to have any resolution. 
So you so you failed because you made a resolution. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Paradox resolution. <laughs> Very meta. Very meta. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, could, <laughs> yeah, that's silly. Iron Man suit. All right. Um, so the Origin PC was also uh, featured. It's a all-in-one PC, which is pretty notorious for being shit because of heating issues. But this one, um, oh, it's just in the screen. Okay. Really? Yeah, it's an all-in-one. So. Well, sometimes all-in-ones like they had. I saw it on Engadget a few days ago. It's a projector and computer mix, so that it'll project, but it's also a computer. Oh, when I think of all-in-one, I think of this. But that that's pretty cool too. Yeah. But no, this is a. Uh, it can hold up to a. Uh, or, or an all one, like those school like big ass keyboards that were the computer and you just plugged it into a monitor. Oh yeah, those two. Yeah. yeah. They were all just like, oh, nobody wants an all in one. They have heating issues and they're hard yeah, to work no, on. Yeah, now yeah. um it's got room for a core I seven, twelve gigabytes or twelve gigabyte NVIDIA GeForce Titan X, which if you know what a Titan X is, that's a fucking <laughs> huge graphics card. It's not card. small graphics card now. And that's a very expensive graphics card. And also card. like a very heat generating graphics card. Yeah, and it's it's got water cooling packed into it and everything. And Jeez. It's just, it can hold what up to uh, thirty two gigabytes of RAM of DDR three, I think, or it might have been yeah. <laughs> Or 32 gigabytes of RAM is all water cooled and all packed in behind the 34 inch ultra wide 3K. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that's any like I don't know displays. Is that almost 4K? Uh, ultra wide 3K? Uh, it's probably it's not, no. It's 14, is it comparable? Oh, it's 1440. Okay, 1440. A lot of gamers tend to like to use right now because they can't actually get to 4K. Okay. So 1440 is right. like a, the next step up from t- uh, 1080. I'm not a huge graphics person. Yeah. Either. But yeah, um, it's, it's, a, um, it's a good size. It's a good yeah, size. It's not 4K, but it's um, a good size. One thing I really like because I like looking at parts in my computer is you can get a clear back for your your uh, all-in-one PC, so you can see all the shit running and all that. Uh, there should be an image of it. That's cool. Not. Yeah, it's the second image in there, Steve. It's the second image. Okay. I'll grab that. Uh, they don't have a price yet, but if it comes with all the stuff they're talking about, it can hold. It's going to be f- a fortune considering the Titan Black is. Yeah, and how much? The Titan X. The Titan X is like four grand. No, as... it's like it's a little over a thousand. It's not f- four grand. I think it's actually no. almost exactly a thousand dollars. Titan X. Yes. No. Probably talking about different models. Maybe Titan the Titan X Black. Is... Hold on. So let's look this it's up. Titan X. Titan X. <laughs> All right, so what about the Titan Black? I'm thinking about the Titan Black. Then. <laughs> Let's find out, damn it. Graphics cards. Graphics cards. They're not going to give you... Yeah, see? The, the Titan X. All right, well, the Titan dollars. Black. What's the Titan Black thing? Because I'm pretty sure that's like four grand. I remember uh, one being four grand. Titan X Hybrid. None of them are even close to four grand. All the ones that are showing up on their website are 1200 and under. Well, that's still a lot of money. Yeah. Um, I th- you're probably thinking of like a customized one that has like you know built-in water cooling and stuff into it and whatnot. That could probably. probably be it, it, it is a Titan Black that I was thinking of, which is a four thousand dollar graphics card. Okay. <laughs> it's it's the, I guess it's better. I thought the Titan series was all that price because I've only really looked at the Titan Black. Yeah. But anyway, it's got that, and then um, I just I that would be cool to see behind your your monitor. <laughs> that would be, yes, yeah, if you get the clear one anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The clear one, yes. and it's just, it, I'm, it looks like it might be an actual, really well done all in one if they solve the heating issues because yeah. with the well, screen if, being so hot. If it's water cooled, then as long as you have a good ex out, or, yeah, as long as you have a good output and input section, you should probably the water cook, cooling should be able to handle. You could probably it. fry an egg on the the exhaust <laughs> with everything running. Yeah. At least there's no air flowing like through it. You have to like a water valve hooked up to it, and it's like from like an, <laughs> like the freezer, and you're just getting. Well, they do have those. They have active water cooling water cooling systems. Like it'll actually yeah. have a little chiller in there, or it'll be like a specific kind of fluid or something. <laughs> cool. That's if you want to be really cold. <laughs> what is your what's your PC core on at? Uh, like zero degrees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> yeah. It's really um, good. That's, I have issues with condensation though. So. This must be heavy though. This must weigh like 50 pounds or something. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, I don't know if it's got a weight on it, but it, it, it probably is. For rel- it, it's not light. Just it is cool it. though, but I would never want to buy it on one. I well, just... this is a, this looks like look how look how easy that would be to throw in a new motherboard or throw in the new graphics card. That looks like 
it would be a lot easier than the older all in ones that are all just right. packed together with all kinds of shit. Yeah. And if that's actually how it's how it is and there's no like plastic overlays, which it doesn't look like there should be because it's water cooled and all the heat's going out of the big fucking blower motor. Right, right. It should be fine. It, it looks like it'd be really easy to do. Well, the motors in here don't even look like that. It's that huge, the blower motor. But again, because it's water cooled, it doesn't necessarily have to be huge. Well, it's just blowing air through the uh, radiator. That's all it's doing. Right. Yeah. Right. It, it, if they, they might bring back the all-in-one PC and then yeah. be like, people be, be cool. like, oh, cool. It would be I cool if they could make a custom one that worked with the stuff that is already out there. Like, you could buy an actual Titan X, uh, just a basic one, because this one looks like it's been adjusted slightly, maybe, to fit this system. Not would it be cool if they could no, buy... No, it says it could fit up to that, so that's the biggest okay. graphic card, like, dimensions they have. Okay, so you could put a smaller one in there. So you could put a small, you could put your 970 in there, and then you could okay. put a different uh, card in there. It holds up to an i7. Well, then in, in that case, I changed my mind and say, this could be cool to do. The only thing, it might be a pain in the ass having multiple monitors, which you and I both like. You can still plug in multiple monitors. You just plug two monitors into this monitor, and you've got two <laughs> on each side of it. Mm -hmm. Video card still has all the same ports it normally would, so... That's true. It yeah. doesn't look like... Uh, it's just a bad image. It looked like it might not have access to it, but yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. And it would no, save a lot of space. you probably have access port below it, but yeah. No, but yeah, it all depends on how well they do the heat issues. Right, that's the tricky bit. And how, how, like, you know, because monitors move a lot more than a computer mm -hmm. does, so hopefully they have the water cooling, like, really solid and, like, won't leak. Oh, no, I dropped it. Oh, this should be fine. <laughs> Plugging in, water pours out the back, and then you yeah. cry. <laughs> oh, this is this is very cool. No, that is, yeah. yeah, that is cool. I, like I love the base because it's so heavy. It has to have like really wide feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might be interested in it. Yeah, that would be. I mean, if I didn't already, I don't, like I I would need to figure out how much my computer costs one of these days for tax or for well, insurance purposes. But I imagine yes. this. I I don't think I would even bother trying to get something like this at this point. No, me and you, as much as, or as, much well, as we're planning on doing to our computers. Right, missing. but even in like your case or something, or someone who only has a computer but is thinking about like really upgrading it massively, some, getting something like this instead of um, you know, just you know, redoing a computer might be a better route because then mm. you start upgrading this one slowly in the future. But then it's also got issues. If it could not heat proper or dissipate heat properly and actually have real big issues that they yeah, haven't well. seen yet with a lot of use. Yeah. Being um, they have a Titan X in there, I doubt they're worried about heavy <laughs> gameplay, but it could be an issue later on. So I don't want to. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to risk it. I'll wait till like get uh, three's out. It's definitely if I interesting, one. though. It's definitely interesting. Eventually, that's be, that'll be all we can get. Is well, I like the idea too of like screens. you know maybe they'll sell it like custom. So you go onto the website and you can be like, I want this graphics card and this and this, and then if you get like a lower key one, you won't have heating issues. You might not have heating issues with the big one. No, it's true. But I you're also trying to go on a budget, too. Because yeah. if the Titan X by itself is fucking $1,000, that yeah. means this is at least 2000 At least. Well, the processor's up there, too. But I, th I feel like the way they did the water cooling for the processor's cool, but they also should water cool the graphics cards. But then again, they come in issues with graphics card size. Right. I don't know how well the airflow is in there. Well, also, it looks like there's a lot of fans other than the one. Yeah, cooling, cooling graphics cards, too, adds... Uh, well, it doesn't add space, but you have to have, like... um a little heat sink attached to it mm -hmm. and it usually goes on the end opposite of where the plug is actually going in. Mm -hmm. So it's on the left side from in the picture. That's usually where you would put a heat sink. So they would have to design an extra space for more tubing and and allow for a heat sink attachment. Yeah, well it doesn't look like the tubing's too big. But... No. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, they, I, I, they probably tried to put it in there originally, I bet, and it was just like, no, there's not enough space or it won't build cool properly because we'll have to add another... Um, you know, blower motor. Yeah, and, and radiator. Yeah. And then they probably had issues with heat, so they're like, let's just do a fan. <laughs> the wall behind my computer caught on fire. Yeah. Well, because <laughs> it's probably just a vent there, right? So it just blows out the back. <laughs> it looks like the vent would be on like the back of the monitor. And just a like hole right hole. there, or yeah. not a hole, but a little grate or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, I like it. <laughs> it I don't know cool. if I'll get it, but I like it. Sucks it's <laughs> origin, but hey, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying. <laughs> yeah, they're trying it's to like, be like, "Hey, come back to Origin." No, we exist, guys. <laughs> you buy it, and you can't, you're not a, you, like you can't download Steam on it. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, that would be. Okay. You only get to play fucking SimCity, which was garbage. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, 
I still don't think SimCity is that bad. I like a SimCity game no matter what, but... That was horrible. Anyway, right. anyway. Skylines. Yeah, yeah. Skylines. <laughs> so let's uh, move on to a VR. Let's go yes. there. There we go. HTC Vive. Um, <laughs> uh, there wasn't a whole lot of news compared to the Oculus, which is, you know, if you are watching this, you probably already know what the news for the Oculus is. It, it is. We'll talk about that in a moment. But the HTC stuff was just talking about, um, um, I can't remember. Chaperone. Chaperone, that's it. Thank you. Yeah. And I guess, you know, it's, I've seen, I've seen some stuff in this when people did like, you know, playthroughs of, with, of it with it and whatnot, or ask questions. And it works a lot better with Oculus because it's designed to be able to be used on your feet or sitting. That's the whole point of the laser um, boxes that they have to track you. So they had to put it in a system that would make it easier to not run into stuff and, you know, hurt yourself. Because if you're going to make something... Dog. It, it, it says in the article, too, if you're going to make something that is can be used in that room, like anywhere, then you need to make it safe. Otherwise, what's the point? You're going to get the, sued or whatever. Or you'd have to make a dedicated... Or you <laughs> or dedicated would require room. them right. to have a dedicated VR room, which... But even then, you'd still run married, into a wall. You're not going to get away with it. Yeah, but you can still run into a wall. So this pretty much makes it to where in-game you would see, like, a virtual... Like grate or you know screen or something that would indicate that's the wall, oh, or yeah. you know, you'd have some kind of. Th- and I guess you can even hit a button on the controller too, and it'll actually show you everything around you. So if like, oh, okay. where did I put my drink? Maybe you can make out where the drink is, or at least where the table is. You can walk over to the table and you can kind of feel for your drink or something. So you wouldn't necessarily have to take off your headset. Right. To be able to you know figure out where you are in the room. It's like, oh shit, I lost track of where the fuck I am. Button push. Oh, I know where I am now. <laughs> So it's it's a very inter- it's a very cool thing. I think it works and it makes a lot of sense for standing VR experiences. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I'm, I'm I'm more excited for it. I I can't wait till they open up pre-orders for this thing because I will probably do a pre-order for this thing. Um. But yes, they have. I done it. I would. Uh, I pro- <laughs> I probably will do a pre-order. I can't imagine why I want it. Uh, where's the second picture you have on here? Oh, and then and they, it looks like these are because the last controllers we saw looked like just a big rectangle on top of a yeah. controller. These look a lot more sleek than. Um, yeah, yeah, they probably out. refined it. Yeah, I want. I'm wondering if these will still be the final version or if this is just a lot closer to the final version. They got the same direction pad, thumb pad thing that the Steam controllers do, so maybe they took some science from that. Well, that, that makes sense. You know, if it's you know Steam VR, it would make yeah. sense to have a pad on there. It's like Steam. Yeah. Uh, I imagine too. Well, th- I know they said they were supposed to be shipping it with Xbox 360 controller, but it should be st- shipped with a stream, a Steam controller. I don't know why they wouldn't do I've, that. I've read a lot of awesome reviews on the Steam on the Steam. I've heard they're not as bad as people initially thought they were going to be. I heard they were yeah. pretty decent controllers. Well, they've got a lot of sensors in them, like accelerometers, right. and gyroscopes, and all that, so you can so, use them as virtual joysticks yeah. and whatnot. Maybe they'll still change that. Maybe there's just rumors that it was going to be an Xbox controller, but I would love to see a Steam controller. There's probably sp- wait the Steam VR or this Steam VR. Oh, okay. It'll probably this be is this, this is the Steam VR uh, hand controllers. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. That's the HTC... Yeah, the HTC uh, Vive, which Vive. is... Ste- uh, Steam Steam VR. That shit mixed up. I think they're making their yeah. own shit. They're <laughs> no, they're not making their own stuff. So it makes sense why they have the Steam. Yes, yes. That's exactly yeah. why they have those. <laughs> fucking suck. <laughs> they probably actually just took them out of a fucking controller. <laughs> It's like okay. Did, man. It's I okay. think Steve's it's... like doing their own thing. Oh, I understand. Sh- it's easy to get it mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> um... So yeah, uh, and like I said, we'll talk about uh, Oculus in a little bit, but we'll move on to the next topic, which is Brian. Yep, the Alltech Lansing, which... Let's get that picture up. So this is definitely one of the minor announcements. Yeah. Ooh, headphones. Uh, they're headphones with a camera in them. Oh. Um, the like camera that. is 1080p, 30fps, really basic camera, mm-hmm. um, but it has Wi-Fi. So you can live stream to a projector. So if a DJ was wearing these, he could like, you know, sure, live bro. stream what he's doing on the tables and whatnot. Um, <laughs> Promoted also, for the DJ crowd. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it's also you can also just store the video on a hard drive in the, yeah. you know, in the thing. It has eight gigabytes of storage in the in the headset, and then it has a card slot for up to thirty-two gigabyte. So Does thirty of my Is it a gaming, like, headset? Like, does it have a mic? I don't know. 
Because that, if it had it a mic, that would make so much more. So you could put these things on, have your mic built in, and you could go do like you know, computer builds or you know, building Lego or any right. kind of actual like real life video. You can have the mic right there and the oh, cool. and the so you have like a you know, person camera. I feel like you would have a mic though if you're able to do videos. You Maybe would think, right? Has a built in mic. Maybe, but that makes a lot of sense. Like I could say it being really good for like vlogging type videos or you know, let's builds or whatever the hell else you can think of. Yeah. Let's build something real. Or just vlogs in general, like, you know, those big YouTube corporations that have actual buildings, you do a vlog and you just walk around with that on. Sure. Right. Check out my apartment kind of thing. Yeah, so that, that, that could be very cool. It has an impressive seven hours of battery life. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty decent. Um, the is that active better. recording? Is, or is that just on? I don't know. It's a, I'm assuming it's recording. Because that's, yeah. that's pretty decent get, for just wireless yeah. headphones by itself. Right. So um, I'm wondering if that's only for audio, and when you actually record, it drops down to like two hours or something like that. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be $200, and they're going to ship quarter two okay. of this year. So cool. That's cool. actually pretty interesting. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. that is cool. It's basically a little cool I, thing. I can't out. see it being useful for too many people, but I could definitely see it be useful for the YouTube community. Yeah, or DJs. Or DJs. I don't know. I don't know what else you would use this for. I honestly don't. Um, you could use it like Russians use car cameras, walk around, and videotape yourself getting mugged, and be like, "See, it happened." Well, isn't that better for Google Glass? It's smaller. It's less conspicuous. This is cheaper than Google. Google Although Glass. wearing something like this, you wouldn't think there were cameras in it. You would just think, uh, "Oh, it's some hippie person listening to music on giant hippie? headphones in the middle of a." Uh... Hippies aren't here anymore, Steve. <laughs> okay. Um. What's the new hippie? Then? Hipster. Welcome Hipster. to 2016. Point is, is you don't <laughs> only you only see, you only see douchebags wearing giant headphones like this around in public. So you would twelve year old boys that think they're cool because they see douchebags doing it. Exactly, exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on, society. Yeah, right. <laughs> Those are cool, though. I like that. Yep. So that's them. Cool. So now we'll <laughs> go ahead and talk about Oculus. Then um, I did want to mention I forgot about it for the um, Steam VR or the. <laughs> Um, yeah, now you got it. Uh, it does have a camera in it in the front. That's also what adds to being able to see what's around you. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. So it has like a camera in there, plus the laser things. It will also track some of the stuff in the room and stuff. So. Sweet. Yeah. So it's very cool. Uh, anyway, so Oculus. Um, so the first obvious news is they started their pre. Well, you can get a pre-order tomorrow. Wednesday, they're starting their pre-orders. They haven't announced what the price is yet, which is odd, because you'd think you'd have a price for a pre-order. At least a price. They're going to surprise everybody. Else. It's like, oh, hey, you got a pre-order? Guess what? It's $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> and you, and you signed one. a contract. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck. Um, I, I mean, I get it. People are still going to do it, even though they don't know how much it's going to cost. Yeah. Like I'm, you know, I want to get a VR headset. I just don't know which one, but it's probably going to be the uh, the Vive. So even if they don't have a price for the the thing, I still might end up doing a uh, pre order for the Vive. Now, is that the released model? That image right there with the hair on it. Mm-hmm. Yes. I thought they were um, calling it the Rift. Yeah, that's the uh, full the Oculus Rift. Yeah. Why didn't they just say Rift on it instead of Oculus? Because well, I thought they were, I thought it was actually just the Rift. That's where they're marketing it as Windows. No. And no, I think the other two things too is everyone knows it as Oculus, not the Rift. Yeah. So they're gonna put the more obvious name on it. People hear Rift, they think of a shitty WoW clone. Exactly. <laughs> um, if anything, I'm surprised there's not Windows or um, yeah, a Facebook logo on there. <laughs> <laughs> or just a picture of Mike Zuckerberg. <laughs> Do this. <laughs> he's, doing the, he's doing the intro video. We pop it in. Like yeah, a tutorial, right. it's him doing it. It's like, oh. I'm turning this off. I should not have bought <laughs> this. <laughs> I feel oh, bad. Oh, <laughs> man. That hair that is really bothering me. Bothering me. Yeah. yeah. It's bothering me, too. Um, so that starts tomorrow. Again, no price released, and we don't know the release date yet, but pre-orders. Yeah. Um, otherwise, the other news was... Um, uh, oh, yeah, Kickstarter thing. Um, so... This is very cool. The, so anyone who did the original Kickstarter but didn't just do it was actually did the amount for the Kickstarter to be able to get a dev kit, 
they will actually get an Oculus. So the people who spent like $800 for the DK2. No, I don't DK1. know if it was that much during the original oh, I don't uh, know. Kickstarter. I think it was probably closer to like three or 400 bucks for the original Kickstarter. That's right, it was, which isn't bad. No, the that's, DK2s yeah. are going for like 1000 bucks now. And, yeah. Right, <laughs> and this is probably going to be closer to five or 600 give or take. We don't I think really the know. dev kit one was like $600 when yeah. it was open for developers. So that's cool. I thought, because not a lot, not, you know, I think it was Brian that said not a lot of people do stuff like this. Or not, I don't know if it was Brian. I read it somewhere, maybe. But yeah, you don't see this type of thing happen with well, Kickstarters usually. Right. right. Um, so this is very cool that they're doing that. that they're it actually getting a, back their Yes, back. it doesn't take a lot of other pocket. It makes a lot of people really happy, yeah. and it makes you look really good. So. Because yeah. there's a lot of Kickstarter people that just screw over. Their right, it's right. It's like, yeah, you helped us, but... We're a company now. We're making money without you guys. <laughs> yeah, and then they just forget about them. But I, th- I thought this is awesome that they're doing that and yeah. giving those out for free to those people. Because they, they, I, I imagine they still got dev kits. Like, they paid for the dev kits. So right. they not only have a dev kit or sold it, but they'll also have the Oculus. So yep. I thought that was great. That's Good, good for yeah. Oculus. Good for no, that, that was very good. Very good publicity. Like, that was very smart of them to do that. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, All right, so, uh, I guess they announced it before the pre-sale started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the pre-order. Oh, that would suck. Oh, by the yeah, way, right? you guys already fucking it's paid like, for Oh, by it. the way. Here's a free one. <laughs> you were oh, back there. Oh, man. Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah. So yeah. go ahead on the next. So topic. LG came out with a bunch of uh, appliances, <laughs> TVs, and uh, an electronic dashboard with driver-sensing cameras and Ooh, real-time yeah. traffic information. Right. That's pretty awesome. I would love a heads-up display in my car. Yeah. At, at the same time, I would hate one because a lot of there's a, a Buick Rendezvous that has a heads-up display that just shows how fast you're going. Yeah. And just a little speedometer thing right in my field of view drives me insane. Well, that's because you. I, I thought you, I would love wanna, it. You don't want to realize how fast you're going. <laughs> no, I, I realized I was going too fast, so I slowed down. But it was just like right there, and it was driving me nuts. And I'm so glad I don't have it because it would be off all the time. Yeah, that, it could be cool if like integrate, like the whole dash was integrated, and it wasn't just like, yeah, here's your center console with everything on it, and you got to like move your hand well, to go touch it. Yeah, or shit like that, or use a shitty voice activation all car companies have, and it's absolute dog okay, shit. Okay, Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, well, with Google, but... Well, that's why I like the the Tesla's one. It's just a big old fucking flat screen monitor in the center console. It yeah, but at the same time, you still have to take your eyes off the road to turn that on. That looks like it would just be like you glance down and you can well, see everything. Well, no, I think it still has the normal speedometer at the location where you would want it. But oh, all yeah, the controls yeah. are there. Like, you don't have to touch anywhere else to control anything. It looks like right. this. If you wanted to touch your speedometer thing, you'd actually have to touch by pushing your hand through your steering wheel to hit the speedometer. Why do you have to touch this? Why do you have to touch If you want to do, like, that one option that allows you to, you know, let you know how far you've gone. Like you push the button. You have to do that on every vehicle, right? What? What, your trip? Yeah. Yeah, you have to do that on every vehicle. Yeah. Except for, like, the newer ones. It's a little, I mean... Yeah, the newer ones usually have it on the actual, like, screen, because there's usually a screen built in nowadays. Well, yeah, nowadays, but yeah. Yeah. So you don't have one of those. No, I don't. um... I have a a, a little plastic toggle button that I can push down, and it does it. Yeah. (laughs) And then it breaks because it's a Chevy. But um, hey, hey. <laughs> um, then uh, they came out with the the coolest thing I saw that they came out with was their refrigerator. Because you could just knock on the door and it'll show you everything inside your fridge. So I was talking about it with um, with my fiance and her sister, and she's like, "That's stupid. Why don't you just open the fridge?" I was like, "Cause you're saving energy at that point." Yeah. It's, uh, she didn't think of that, but I, like a lot of people wouldn't. They'd be just like, well, it's right. stupid. You no, gotta it's not good to That's really conserving a lot of energy from opening and closing your fridge all the time, and you don't have to sit there with the door open trying to think of something to eat. Now you can just knock on the door and stare at it for a while to see if your food comes in because you probably don't have food in your fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is cool. Um, mm-hmm. It doesn't and then, look like it has a built-in like you know ice maker and stuff, so that'd be even cooler. Uh, a lot of the newer the fridges... A lot of the fridges have the ice makers that just pour out into the bottom trays, oh. and you just have to like scoop it out. So um, you, well, see that you can't do crushed ice. You can't get like filtered water. I like having all those options. Yeah, I, I do too. I do like that a lot. They might have options with that. And then this. This is still screen, very cool, though. That is still very cool. Yeah, and it's got a I think a 26 inch, if I remember correctly, screen on it. 
That looks about right, yeah. Um, At least which, wide, but just yeah. by itself. Yeah, and so it looks very tall. All kind of features, and you can uh, have your. If you, they're like, oh, you don't have to make grocery list anymore. All you have to do is t- your your picture. Your fridge will send a picture of your <laughs> of its insides to you. It's like, yeah. Oh. I don't organize. No, that, especially when you you know you go to the fridge, you don't know what you're looking for. Yeah. You don't want to keep it open for like a minute while you're just like. Oh. No, it'd be cool right. if they had like cameras. It sounds like they just have cameras around the top edges and stuff. Right. It would be cool if they had cameras all around the fridge, so you could just like pan through and look at different images <laughs> of your fridge. Oh, uh, there it is. I found it. Yeah, it's like it's I did have one of those anyway. leftovers again. Oh, they're in the back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then another cool feature was they have a. Uh, a sensor that lets you just step on a certain area and it will open the door for you. Ah, okay. Which is pointless because you can open a fridge door, but it'll help with... Well, if you're going to have automatic fridge doors, then a foot trigger makes sense, I think. Yeah, no, I'm just talking about automatic fridge doors. It's pointless because it's not hard to open a fridge, but I guess people right. with, like, a, with this, like issues and whatnot... Old people or... People. Yeah. Or people that have, like, I think osteoporosis. Right. Not yeah. too sure, I <laughs> or stuff like that, or it would just help them. And it also can decide if you're a pet or if it's feet, which I thought was a pretty Ooh, cool. Difference. I guess another cool thing about that would be is if you're holding like a you know fucking like you know twenty oh, yeah. beers in your hands and you're like you push the button and you can put them in, or you could set them on the counter behind you and open the fridge and set them in. But well, whatever. <laughs> I'm just being uh, I'm, I'm being simple. This is new technology. <laughs> this is yeah. <laughs> Then they have uh, they uh, talked about another dual load washing machine, which I, st- I told Sterling that'd be really cool for her. What's a du- what's it mean by dual load? I, it can do two loads at once. Oh, um, so it's just bigger on the inside? I guess there wasn't a lot of information on it, but that's what. Because isn't it? Why why would you call it a dual load? Why not just call it a double? You can load it from big. the top and from the bottom. Oh, oh okay. from the front. I can I, I can find. So like, there's a smaller drawer underneath for you to do. Underwear, socks, stuff like that, and then the big drawers for like the jeans. And shirts. See, that makes more sense. You wouldn't call it dual load just because it was bigger. Yeah. Right. That does make sense. All right, cool. And then they had all their TVs, which are even thinner now. I think they're like 2.5 millimeters yeah. or something like that. Something ridiculously thin. Yeah. And uh, the track, the uh, speaker on the bottom, you can take off so it'll just look like. A thin sheet of glass on your wall, <laughs> essentially, and you can put the speaker wherever or hide it if you want to, if it's wall mounted, because a lot of people <laughs> like things looking clean now. Right. And, uh, they're not a lot has changed from the 2015 release to the new release, so everybody's just spec- speculating it's going to be a little cheaper, because uh, they said that their biggest TV will be less than ten thousand dollars. Oh, wow, only less than ten thousand, huh? <laughs> well, uh, I, I haven't priced out like 4K smart TVs. <laughs> Ever, because I know I can't afford them, so I no, don't know the yeah. price range of them. But I feel like under $10,000 is still like, that's a shitload of money. Yeah, no, that's a lot of money. You have to Holy really shit. be in a TV <laughs> or like have your computer connected to your TV or something to be able yeah, to. And then they got right. their curved TVs and whatnot, which I still don't understand completely. I think it's, it's just supposed to help bring your eyes into the picture. I don't know. It's something to do with human sight. Because yeah, we don't see it. if you're not sitting straight in front of it, then it looks horrible. Ah, uh, so so it's not good from like a big no. room type of perspective. No, so if would... you were the only one watching and you're sitting in the same spot all the time. Yeah. But... So curved, so curved monitor would probably make more sense than a curved TV. Right. One curved monitor and two flat ones. I guess it also mm-hmm. depends if it's big enough and far enough away, then it probably wouldn't matter because you wouldn't have seats going like in a U around it. But right. you you could put five people really far back, and for the most part, they'll be pretty center of the. Monitor. Yeah, but you couldn't sit on like the end and of the couch. Right, right. Just, you know, if it's like a couch. normal size living room, you wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Be, eh, whatever. I'm not. Because a, if I'm you think about it, um, is the IMAX usually curved? Don't isn't it a giant ass curved screen? That's not the curved IMAX screen, just a dome. Yeah, it's a giant. But yeah, but isn't the the actual IMAX yeah. screen usually like just a big curved wall? Yeah, it's a curved screen. So I've maybe that's where IMAX. that idea originally came from. Oh, yeah, I've Probably. done it once or twice. They're a great. IMAXs are great. I'm going to try yeah. all these new things now that I've never done. you got to sit a lot farther back than you think you do, though. So Yeah, you, you <laughs> really do. Yeah. I usually sit as far back as possible anyway because I don't like cricking my neck and staring at a screen for right, hours right. on it. But, yeah, I think I think IMAXs are – at least most of them are curved, so maybe that's where that comes from. Who knows? Yeah, the only IMAX I've been into is at the Orlando Science Center, and it's a big dome. Yeah. 
it's kind of like at an angle, and you can see. I don't know if that's what all IMAXs are like. I had, I'm not sure, yeah. But it's kind of like enough to know. Bubble. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's pretty cool. And okay. then, um, and then uh, they did, uh, I don't think there's two, other than all the appliances that they can link through, and they also have an air purifier, which in the article I read about it, it's like, oh, yeah, and it'll show you your air being purified, which is cool if you can't fork out the ten grand for a TV. So I thought that was just <laughs> Wait, a funny little quip. An air purifier for the fridge? Oh, no, I think they have an air purifier for the house. Oh, gotcha. Into that. They like smelling ozone. Well, it makes sense, especially if you live in a city or suburbs. You want to that? I I get that. Or I LA. Send them all to China. Or LA. Yeah, or China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need like eighty of those things just to fucking breathe. Or or like World War Three. Per you know per room. Yeah. <laughs> per room. Your doors are just air like purifiers. Of them. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Lacey, I believe it is. Um, came out with USB-C type hard drives, which I just learned of USB-C when I got my new phone. Da -da. Um, and that's the one where it can go in either way, right? Yes, the yeah, USB-C. Uh, it yeah. can go in either way. Um, allows computer to be charging while transferring files, which is pretty cool, I guess, if you have a laptop. Yeah. Because um, yeah. I don't really often see desktops have batteries in them. But, but phones, too. Work. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, phones, that, when you plug it in, nice. it could charge, but also you can transfer your photos, or you or like you can use a mm -hmm. tablet as like a second mon or another monitor when it's plugged. Mm -hmm. in. But if it's not charging, you can't. It just dies. That explains a lot. All right. So I there's never really noticed that. For like with any of the USB stuff, I just assume it works. Yeah. I don't really care. But now that I'm learning about new technology, it's like, <laughs> oh shit, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, it's a uh, science. <laughs> Uh, they also come with USB 3 adapters. Um, the portable ones will be in 1, 2, and 4 terabyte models, which is okay. pretty fucking awesome. Why not just start at 1? Makes sense. <laughs> and uh, the desktop models will be 4, 5, and 8 terabytes. Um, are, are they solid state? Or are they, uh, Probably. Yeah. That small, they yeah. have to be. They're, they're all solid state, yeah. So that's pretty pretty big for solid state drives. And then um, the well, Chrome hard... like one, three terabytes, then yeah, you do need to get a little bigger. Well, an eight terabyte oh, for a but... desktop? Yeah. That's a, that's a big-ass fucking... That's going to be not cheap at all. Yeah. And then the uh, Chrome hard drives, which are just fancy-looking... Yeah. Hard drives. <laughs> Here, it's Chrome. It fucking looks awesome on your little corner post. That's <laughs> yeah. all I got for that. It's too bad they have a Mac next to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, only Mac people are going to buy it. That's why That's true. That's true, because they can't add more uh, uh, stuff into their computers. Ooh. Yeah, they they Close and, system, bitch. <laughs> and the fact that they put it next to a Mac makes that hard drive look even better because it's sitting next to a pile of shit. Yeah. True. You, know, you know what? <laughs> Although, oh, yeah. I think the one thing that Macs have on PCs is those really thin white keyboards are really good. They look really cool. Those yeah, no, that's true. The keyboard and, really nice. and stuff, but the only yeah. other thing is the free programs like GarageBand. And right. GarageBand's not there anymore. No. Well, there goes <laughs> back for me. I just watched the um, the movie about uh, um, what's his name? That's a good movie. I have the the fucking <laughs> Apple um, Jobs. Which one? one? The newest they're, 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 one. The newest, the newest one. one. The um, one that's not Ashton Kutcher? Yeah, the one that's not Ashton Kutcher. Kutcher. I don't know how many times Kutcher. I have to remake that. Well, it's a, it's definitely not so much of a jerk-off fest as the first one was. Like, a, <laughs> oh, we love, we love Steve Jobs, we love Steve Jobs, we love Steve Jobs. It's not so much that. They do, it now it's more like Steve it. Jobs is a monster. No, they still right. they still show him up as being like a, a genius, but at the same time, they do show some stuff in there that makes him look really bad, like being a closed system and be like, no, people don't know what they want. They don't want to have choices. It's like, no, they do. They, they really yeah. do. Well, a lot of people don't because there's a lot of Mac users out there, obviously. But there's a lot of people... There's not nearly like as many as PC, though. Oh, God, no. That's because people still think of the Apple computer that was just one big hunk of shit that was like right. had a green yeah. plexiglass back. <laughs> and that's like, oh, no, I don't want that. Yeah, but especially in today's world of technology constantly changing, you having to buy one of these every two years, that's not feasible. People don't know what they want, right. but I know I want more money, so yeah. we're going to make people upgrade every But anyway, that's just what I was thinking of when I was year. looking at, uh, you know, that's why they have to buy stuff like this, because yeah. they can't upgrade their systems, and Correct. they have to 
do stuff somehow. Well, that's still only ex that's still only external hard drives. I mean, you're not going to get any faster because you have an external hard drive. <laughs> true, true. Um, you can always plug in memory sticks and make those into kind of a memory for your computer, but that's about it, maybe. I don't yes. even know that you could do that on Mac. I know you could do that on PC. But we digress. <laughs> yes, we digress a little bit. <laughs> yes. And to the uh, Fitbit. Fitbit. New smartwatch. I have a Fitbit. I don't know what that this is. This one's cool though. It's it's just an activity tracker, pretty much. It's I don't it, like it. it has a rubber rubber band. <laughs> it's not a rubber band, but it's a rubber band. Rubber um, watch band. <laughs> it's designed to be used and be sweaty. Like it's designed to go out there and actually be used. Um, mm -hmm. the one I have is just like has like a little bar and has just you know the time and basic stuff on it. And then it syncs to your phone. Uh yeah, and then yeah, it's it's not actively syncs to the phone, but it does transfer the data to the phone that it picked up and stuff. Right. But this is like because they they had one that I saw the president wearing in the um, cars and comedians show or comedians and cars. Oh yeah, with um, uh, Jerry Springer. Seinfeld. That's Jerry, Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Seinfeld. Um, but Jerry I saw the, the president was wearing one, not this one. It's the one. It's the closest one to a smartwatch that isn't this, and it's not a smartwatch though. It's like the black screen, and you could do some stuff on it, like get your text messages and stuff. But this is actually color, touch, like this is a smartwatch, but a Fitbit. So I imagine cool. this is gonna be very popular because it's still got the rubber band. I think it's still got a heart rate monitor. It does all the same stuff that the Fitbit does, but it also has a touch screen, and it's a lot closer to a smartphone than their other ones have been. So I imagine this will be very popular for people who want a smartphone, but also want an activity tracker. Right. All right. And if I you mean, want an activity tracker, you're going to want the activity tracker first. But you're a lot of smartphone smartphones, first. like all the Samsung phones now come with... True. But their Fitbit has their Fitbit. own system. They have their own software. They like They're focused on fitness. Samsung isn't focused on fitness. You can download a fitness app. No, they come with... I have a Samsung. They came with a fitness app. And yes, I didn't so realize it until told me... Yes. How many, well, they also all fucking Samsung phones come with apps that are made by right, Samsung right. that you can't remove. They're just called apps like right, fucking right. Windows 10. Everything's an app now. Um, but, the, the only thing I don't like is from what I was reading about is it's still um, it still has to be connected to your phone to track like your GPS and stuff, which I'm not hundred because there's there's like really nice GPS smartwatches out there that will track your GPS and do everything, and Fitbit has been that kind of smartwatch that you can just go out with just that, no foam, right. and it gets everything it needs. The fact that it has to have your phone to be able to do some stuff like GPS, I don't so know annoying. I'm a fan of that, but it's also nice because it connects to your phone, you can play music on it and all this other stuff. So Right. I mean, this is pretty much Fitbit's attempt to stay relevant right. and, and expand it. Because they, the they only have the fitness area right now. Right. They don't have a smart uh, watch area, so doing this is going to bring people uh, who are already doing fitness, but also who aren't, into the fitness thing all through a smart watch type setup. Mm -hmm. I'm um, still confused at the point in smart watches, but I kind of want one. I, 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 I think <laughs> smart watches are nice. I especially like it when I want to like uh, cut the lawn or go for a walk or something, and I can use it to control my music on my phone, so I don't have Do to have pull the phone out. Watch? Yeah, I have the Pebble. I bought the Pebble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a smartwatch. Fuck is a pebble? You I want to see it. It was a it was a Kickstarter um project that came out a few years back. Pebble. Hold on, I, I think I got it right here actually. I like can grab it. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's, let's get this. Uh, zoom in. So this this is the pebble. Let's get this. Uh, oh, that's not a pebble. Good watch. There we go. Um, see, so yeah, that's the pebble. It's dead right now. Um. <laughs> But I like it because I can see my text messages or I can see who's calling me, so it's like, eh, I don't need to take my phone out of my pocket. Or it's You nice don't do that account. anyway. <laughs> you hate answering. Yeah, seriously. But Fucking if you, it never. is nice. Um, I just think it's nice to have a smartwatch, but also it, I, don't, I don't think it's worth like $300. Like that thing cost me 100 bucks. Is your Pebble grayscale? Yes, the Pebble's grayscale. They do have a color Pebble now um, that they just came out with recently, but this one's grayscale. grayscale. Yeah. It's such a technical term to use something that's <laughs> it's black. It's black and white. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it's black and white. <laughs> so yeah. Fit it and smart watches. <laughs> let's uh, yep. let's move on. Yay. So we were just talk we're just back bashing on Apple, which is the worst computer company, obviously. Ooh, that's a that's yeah. a laptop. Asus is the best. 
No. Yeah, it's, pr- it's probably not the best, but it it's probably one of my favorites. For In sure. our eyes, it's the best. Uh, I, I love Asus. Asus. I'm, yeah. I have an Asus laptop right now. I had an Asus laptop before that, and an Asus yeah. laptop before that, and an Asus tablet before that. I almost got an Asus phone yeah. uh, a few months ago. So, yeah, Asus Asus is in my life. It's hard. <laughs> we all love it. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, my phone's on Asus. Asus is in phone. That's right. Your phone is in Asus. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> The okay, new one this came out with uh, <laughs> and showed us today was their new Chromebook, and it is designed specifically for children. And well, yeah, it's a Chromebook. Of course it's stuff. designed for children. Well, I mean, it's designed, it's built physically. The to Chrome OS is for children. children. <laughs> As, there, yeah, I said it. The it Chrome is. OS is for it, kids. It is. It is. There <laughs> are more people um, who want to do nothing but internet on their computers. If you want to do nothing but internet, then Chrome OS is perfect for you. And That's like actually a thing. What? Mm-hmm. I didn't know Chrome OS was a thing. Yeah. God, I gotta get yep. out of this rock. It's, 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 it, this was, this <laughs> was like two or three years, years ago. Chrome yeah, OS came out. <laughs> I just thought Chromebook was yeah. just like something Google made that ran like. Yeah. Like, um, but it doesn't. Out. It doesn't have a lot of storage in it. Chrome OS is designed to be used with like a cloud online. It's meant to always be mm-hmm. connected to the internet. It's not a standalone laptop you could ever use not connected, really. Right. But this thing is the the frame is reinforced. It has these rubber grippers all around it. It's designed it to take nice. a beating. It looks. Yeah. It looks like. What about it, price? Uh, we'll, get to that. we'll get to that. Um, but the biggest, the biggest, coolest thing about these is they're modular and they're easy to repair. So you mm. can get new keyboards for them. You can get new power sockets. You can get new batteries. That makes sense yeah. for a kid's laptop. Right. Exactly. You want it to be tough. And it's it's very easy to open and, and repair repairable. yourself. Yeah, that's good. good. Or easy to open for a child to learn how a computer works. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Even better. Yeah, but. Like we were saying, the specs are not very impressive, but it is for kids. Yeah. Um, it only well, has all they have Intel... to be able to play is Minecraft and what yeah. other little games. It they has want an Intel that. Celeron chip, which is the chip that we found in like Blackberries. Yeah, I don't think I've seen Celeron in like a few years. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> I think um, I have my grandma's has... computer's got a Celeron in it somewhere. <laughs> it has an 11.6 inch, 1366 by 768 screen. Yeah. Uh, it comes with either two or four gigabytes of RAM, okay. uh, sixteen gigabytes of solid state drive. Yeah, it is going to be the four gigabyte model is going to be either two hundred nineteen or two hundred twenty nine dollars, okay. and it starts shipping in February. Uh, that's not a bad price point, but a lot of laptops are already that cheap. Yeah. So, but it's, it's right. built to be tough but, though, and that's yeah, what's built nice to be about tough it. like that. I mean, although you could buy a tough cool book, for... I wonder if they still make those. <laughs> garbage. I, know, I have to use those every day at work. Like, <laughs> I can see Asus like giving a discount to a uh, school district. Yeah, you know, or like play, because, play schools or daycares. I mean, the like school that. district that I'm in now, as soon as you get, or I'm not in, but that I was in, that I live within uh, the boundaries For, of, mm-hmm. when you start at seventh grade, which here is the start of middle school, you get a laptop. Yeah. And you take that laptop with you through high school. Or it's nowadays really you get like an iPad in some places, better, which doesn't yeah, make I think, any sense. I think, they get, I think they get surfaces now. but You, you need something that has um, a keyboard on it. You don't get a fucking tablet. A Surface yeah. Pro has a yeah, keyboard. That would be the way to go for not yeah. an iPad. Yeah, but so like I can see it working there. No, that's You've never so, got a laptop for that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good starter laptop to give your kid maybe when they're, you feel I mean, like it's old enough. No. Right. In daycare that Liam and Nixon go to, they have Macs, like the Mac, like like big fancy Mac computers and tablets everywhere that they're learning yeah. on right now. That sucks, but and that's I because... think that's ridiculous yeah. because that's a lot of money just for mm-hmm. fucking toddlers. But whatever. Well, they, do that, they do that in schools and stuff. Like I think my school, they had a, a bunch of old Macs, like the ones that were like the mm. see-through covers. The ones with different colors, yeah. Honor. Yeah, um, they had those, and I think mostly because it took up a lot less room, so they could put all that stuff in the computer labs and only have to plug in one thing. Yeah, it's it's just easier. That's why a lot of people like to do that for schools and stuff because they can just pull one out and throw another one in there and just go. Here's an operating yeah. system you no love or learn to hate. There's no thank you with Max, everybody. Because <laughs> people don't know. <laughs> uh, Asus did unveil something else briefly. They didn't really touch upon it a lot, but they wanted to uh, just wanted to show it, sort of things. And it's uh, Asus's uh, Internet of Things hub. Uh, and an Internet of Things is basically the, like what they're calling 
all the smart devices in your house being connected. So you have your that f- refrigerator from LG, and you have yeah. a smart well, thermostat, and you have power plugs that are all tuned, right. you know, that you can control from a smart device. But it needs oh, some sort temperature. of temperature. Central... Yeah. Yeah, it needs some sort of central processing unit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So, um, so, central processing unit, because um, because otherwise your router is having to handle everything in right. that sense. But having something that maybe is connected to your router that kind of organizes all of your smart devices more thoroughly is definitely something that I think people will eventually need more and more of, unless they and, buy a router that already. And the same with LG, has. they talked about having something that all their Modules for all their uh, appliances to communicate with right. that you didn't touch on a lot. Just yeah. Well, it well. also makes your system safer. So if someone <laughs> were to hack in, they wouldn't be able to, let's say, make your Pinpoint fridge start device. on fire yeah. or something because this would add an extra layer of security yeah. that is connected to your router. And then you just run it through a bunch of proxies, so all your all your appliances are going out of Russia. <laughs> right. <laughs> Although the safest way to combat hackers is to get a uh, oh, what's it called. Um, the thing where it uh, changes your IP address, it makes you look like you're coming from somewhere else. A proxy. That's what Is it a proxy? I, th- yeah. I thought it was a different name for that. It's a proxy server. You just run off multiples and just ping your address across yeah. the, country, the world. Anyway, yeah. So that it, <laughs> it, it, I, I think it makes sense to have something that connects your devices that isn't your router. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I'm playing tug of war with my dog with a sock. Yeah, sock. Ooh. Throw a Pokeball at her. She'll go back in. <laughs> All right, Josh, you want to move on to the next one? Yeah, the... Uh, um, oh, plus this thing looks really cool. It does, it does. look cool. I honestly thought it was a makeup mirror. Yeah, that's what, that's what was you would think, yeah. Okay, I wonder if it's... it's so I'm guessing it's like a touch screen there or something, right? You could touch it and do stuff with it? Maybe. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. And then, um, uh, this yeah. was interesting trying to pronounce uh, this company, but we found out it's pronounced Huawei. Huawei. Like it's not Huawei. a new company. They've My been for a long time. It's a new company to me because I have not heard of them up until I was looking at Google Fi or Project Fi and looking at phones and I was like, I don't know this company so I'm not going to get the 6P. <laughs> but apparently it's the most Android, popular Android phone I should have bought. Yeah. <laughs> so, it um, is right now, like as of right now, is the most popular selling Android phone. That's, that's, it, it looked awesome. Like I, I saw many images and specs yeah. are significantly better. That is not the same phone we're talking about. That's the uh, no. the Mate 8 phone, which has a 6-inch display, which is fucking huge. All I see is big image. That's why I grabbed. Oh, I see the Mate 8. It's on a separate page, damn it. Confuse me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's right>. no, <laughs> Google you, you Talks. Have right image up. You have the right image up. Don't worry uh, about it. Yeah, all right. No, the Mate 8's been around for a little bit, enough to have specs on it. I think it released earlier this year, but now it's globally uh, launched. Okay. Um, It's... Like I said, I haven't heard much about Huawei or anything like that. I didn't even know how to pronounce it until 20 minutes ago. Right. But <laughs> they're they're all their phones look really awesome. Like they just from looking at nice, them. I guess. I mean, smartphones mm-hmm. nowadays are just rectangular boxes upon rectangular boxes. There's not too much you could do to improve yeah. that design. But, but it that's looks like a nice phone. Yeah, yeah. There's the screens look crisp <laughs> and everything like that, and which you can get a smartphone and the screen just looks like shit because it's yeah. cheap. <laughs> yep. And then um, they've also started doing a feminine, feminine uh, smartwatches. Yeah, I'm sorry. Bullshit. <laughs> this is stupid. This is stupid, and it shouldn't exist. Those like, are real it doesn't need to be. Crystals. It doesn't need to be jeweled out to be feminine. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. This that is just like. This is, this is for feminine. old women. That looks like rap star. That doesn't look like feminine. <laughs> yeah. Like I would see a rapper wearing this before I would see a woman wearing this. This is stupid. I was kind of upset that they don't have a masculine one of those because I like it. <laughs> well, it's blue. This could easily also be uh, masculine. That's what I'm talking about. Like, there's nothing, with the like exception of jewels on it. A, like a Celtic symbol, right. you know? So yeah. why is this considered feminine? Just because it has um, not diamonds, I'm guessing, because that would be expensive crystals. and useless. The crystals, so okay. Crystals. So yeah, that's... Then, uh, that's the second cool. one, which is even more feminine... Which I don't see oh. the point. Like, they're, all the watches look fairly unisex. Yeah, some of them are pretty masculine, but but why? why? <laughs> That's just over the top for me. Like, like you expect again, to see a, like a Dior perfume bottle next to it. You yes, know? but yeah. I could still also see like either a, or a Louis Vuitton or purse, a rapper wearing something like this because it's blingy. Gucci. It is blingy. Like, it's just I, I don't see the point in like making them that 
No, you don't need to. Feminine. Don't it's need not to. even feminine. They're just really gaudy and just. Ugh. Yeah, because it's like, well, we're trying to get more women to buy our watches. It's like, well, why don't you jump on a stereotype that all women's watches are like tiny little things on their wrist that you can barely see? Yeah. Because every because they're accessories. Watch, you know, like tiny little like bobbles that the watch is on. Like my mom's got a watch. You need like a magnifying glass and yeah. a telescope to read. No, just <laughs> make watches that are cool looking, and it doesn't need to be for a man or a woman. It's like, I hate or hate you. Okay. Yeah. We don't need to go back into the gender stereotypes. Yeah, because be if, if we are, then where are my male-centric watches? Yeah, and where's my where's my, where's my, where's my sandwich? That, like, breathes fire. And why are my dishes done? <laughs> We're going back to that sandwich age. button. Wow. You push the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's why gender-specific <laughs> watches are stupid. I, I I don't like it. I mean, it's no, just, I'm not a fan of that either. It's stupid. I don't see the point in it. Like. Uh, yeah. Yes, there are some bulky, masculine-looking watches, but girls can pull yeah. it off just as easily. Anyway. They don't have to buy the bulky ones. Let's not spend a lot of time on the watch. Because <laughs> <laughs> yep. we still got okay. a lot to cover. <laughs> now to spend a lot of time on Nikon. <laughs> it's, but it's now a whole shoe lot, company. Got a lot going on. <laughs> Nikon Hour with Brian. Um, so Nikon, had, of all the camera companies, had the biggest uh, day today. We're not even talking about Panasonic's because just, ugh. But, um, yeah, so Nikon's big uh, camera that we were expecting to be released is the D5, and it's the flagship model, which means it's the best that Nikon produces. It is the direct successor to the camera that I have, which kind of bums me out because that means I don't have the best anymore, but whatever. Um, it has a 153-point autofocus system, which is really good. Uh, has a full frame 20 megapixel sensor that's it's really uh, big for this kind of camera because it also shoots at 12 fps <coughs> really fast um, and it has an X speed 5 processor which super fast processor which means you're gonna hold like 250 raw files in a buffer before the camera stops like starts having to think about what it's doing which is just ridiculous yeah um, it also has 4K video, which is awesome. It has an ISO range of up to 3,280,000. 3 million. What is ISO? Is that a lot? 3 million. <laughs> oh, it's a big uh, number, uh, for I sure. That, yeah. I, <laughs> ISO is... I don't remember what the, ISO is. <laughs> ISO is the re-acronymed ASA, which is the sensitivity of the film to light. So when you tr when they made the switch from film to digital, the digital sensors had to be um, had to have be able to be varied sensitivity to light. So the more sensitive is it is to light, the easier you can shoot in the dark, right? Because it picks up light easier. Ah. Um, but you yeah it like there are good things and bad things about doing that, um, and you have to compensate your exposure to go with it. So it's a very technical thing, but three million is stupid high. So that means you could be in a pitch black room with a tiny little like light and it would be bright? Like the light that comes off of the um, camera that you have in your webcam uh -huh. would light up the room. Cool. That's fucking cool. So, I could do that too. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, no. Mine's still hand colored. There it goes. There you go. <laughs> oh. No fake. Um... um... <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's that's pretty cool. I didn't know cameras. Fuck, I don't know cameras at all. Yeah, at all. It it is the <laughs> most like tech spec heavy that you can get in an icon camera. That's cool. Yeah. So it's kind of ugly. It, well, big bulky it, it cameras tend to be ugly. Um, it has a three point two LCD inch screen. It has USB three connections, which is the uh. I think the first Nikon model to have USB 3 connections inside the camera. That's nice. Um, Seems a little late to the party, but... A March release, um, and it's going to be $6,500, which is as much as I paid for my D4S. So, so now uh, you need to get the D5. Uh, Sell the old one to the new one? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I don't th uh, the D4S works perfectly well. So. And no. you don't need to shoot those kind of pictures, so you don't really need that num those numbers. Yes, I do. I'm a sports <laughs> They're specifically designed for sports and photojournalists. Yep. Does it have that thing that opens up that takes a flash? Or do you have to put that box on? 
So you have to put a box on. It does not have okay. a pop-up flash on it. No, these kind of cameras never have a pop-up flash. Is that what the metal bracket is up top? Is that yeah, yes, next to the flash? flash? They're too expensive and nice for them to have pop-up flashes on them. I, I thought that was fancy having a pop-up flash. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. That's to cheat. No, that's to cheat. Yeah, that's no. cheap and amateurish. Yeah. So the next, the, camera, <laughs> the next camera was the big surprise. And Nikon did a really good job of keeping this under wraps, probably because everyone was so excited about the D5, no one thought to um, ask why they had an hour block to introduce one camera. But um, So the D500 is the D300S's successor, and the D300S came out in 2009. Six. And that's a long time in this field, especially at... Um, this is considered a crop sensor camera, which means the sensor is much smaller, and this is on in the consumer sure. level side. And it features a 20 megapixel sensor. It's APS-C crop sensor for Nikon. Oh. But it maintains the 153 autofocus points. It maintains the X-P5 from the D5. It has 10 FPS. 10 FPS for a crop sensor camera. That really whole good. 10 FPS. No, it's really good. That's really, that's 10, really good. That's 10 pictures in a second. Frames per, 10 frames per second, yeah. <laughs> Which is a picture it's, or a photo. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. I thought that was really, really low when you said the 12 <laughs> FPS on the... Nikon or no. the D5, and then I thought about it. I was like, "That's yeah. 12 pictures in a second. That's pretty fucking yeah. good." The D4S <laughs> that I have shoots at 11. I could go get that and show you how fast it is, but yeah, um, now yeah. Uh, yeah, this one has, <laughs> a, you think has that's... a raw buffer of 200, which mm-hmm. is uh, the, these are stupidly high numbers for a, a crop sensor camera. This is like consumer level. You're going to be buy it at Costco level camera. Yeah. And, and you can probably take research. almost professional kind of stuff with it. You well, can take professional photos. It's not to be camera. good at taking photos, but yeah. yeah. The best camera is the one you have with you, Chase Jarvis. Um, but it has an ISO range of up to fifty-one thousand, which is really impressive. Um, I mean, the three million of the D5 is just like mind-blowingly large, but mm. the fifty-one thousand is really big. Um, and it's really good, and it also shoots four K. Um, only at 30 FPS, but the 1080p is at 60 and perhaps higher with firmware updates and whatnot. Yeah. Um, it can also shoot uncompressed 4K, which means this is going to be a camera that digital filmmakers are going to like a lot. And ah. you can export to an HDMI port, which means it can be plugged into a computer or a television ah. at the time. So this is probably is... something that will be used in like small-scale YouTube channels that... Do or large stuff. scale YouTube channels. Yeah, or even that. Yeah, because a lot of those people use these type of cameras, and then they hook up to a bunch of shit like a monitor and right all this other stuff. So this is uh, probably what they end up getting. This one features two dual card slots again: one SD and one QXD, which is sort of Nikon's semi-proprietary weird format that I can never find <laughs> for for less than a hundred dollars. So yeah, well. Um. Uh, but. Probably the biggest thing about this camera is that it has a SnapBridge smart connectivity uh, software, which utilizes the low-energy Bluetooth, so you can transfer photos straight to your phone or tablet really quickly. Uh-huh. Uh, it also has NFC, which is so not... So you can just to tap it to your phone yeah. and it'll transfer it. Yeah, exactly. Or um, you can buy stuff with it. <laughs> I don't know if you can buy stuff with it. You can't Probably play not. like Clash of Clans on it, but... Right. Um, it also features standard Wi-Fi, so you can just connect to anything you want. Yeah. Uh, it is also scheduled to release in 2016, and it's going to drop for $2,000, which is the most expensive uh, Nikon crop sensor body ever. But ah. It's worth it. Um, ever since I saw that, it was like, oh, okay, I want one. I want one. <laughs> um, I could buy a car and... for $2,000. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh and then the last little Nikon thing, this came out of thin air. Oh, um, so tiny. Yeah, it is so tiny. This is, is that called a GoPro the Mission 360, which is just a terrible name, Nikon. What are you doing? Um, but this is a VR-ready, GoPro-esque 360-degree camera. Cool. Yeah, now that this I'm looking really at it, cool. I don't see how the 360 works. Like I thought, I thought there was like a you know cameras on all the sides, but looking at this picture, because it's well that lens is probably about 270 degrees of view, and you flip it around, there's another one that's 270 degrees of view. So, but you're still missing out other. on like you still like I'm like you're still not getting some stuff. No, you're getting everything. 
You just need 180 degrees of view on both sides, and you'll have 360 degrees. You have yeah. over that. Oh, I got you. Well, it doesn't look like it'd be able to stick out that far, but I guess... No, it's got, the, it's got like a fisheye type lens, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the element is sticking out. It's a wide field well, as long of view, as it works. just like the... Yeah, just like the GoPro is. Okay. Um, it has a 6.6 uh, foot drop proof rating, so you can drop it from the height of me. Yeah. Plus a little bit, two inches. So I can't drop. throw it on the ground, but I can drop it. <laughs> um, you and it's waterproof. Throw... Oh, yeah. It's waterproof up to 100 feet, which is really cool. That's nice. Um, and it records in 4K, which, Yay. you know, fuck you every other 360 camera out there, because they don't. Um, yeah. Really? And it has image stabilization, which GoPros don't. The so when you're shaking, Theta, like, Theta 360 you doesn't. Oh. Yeah, it's a little gimbal in it that just keeps it stable. Someone's so, winning. <laughs> someone just like made it just out of nowhere jumped into this market because Nikon's never we win. like this before. Do they mic drop when they release this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just press a little button on the top. <laughs> mic drop, and that was it. <laughs> so yeah, big big day from Nikon. Well, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, Samsung. so uh, Samsung uh, came out with their uh, next TV, Bam. which is just going to be, uh, it's still look an LED all, TV. Look at all the stuff it's got on there. Which isn't, isn't like as good as the OLEDs, which is uh, came out with LG. It's slightly less quality, but it's going to be cheaper on your pocket because... Look at that curve. And it's got a curve. But um, it's... Yeah. It's an HDR TV, which is about like they all are. It's got a thousand nits of contrast, which is a lot. Uh, I actually wonder what nits are today. So it all, uh, light I did like dark. I had to put like little uh, annotations in here to help him along. What what is it? Is it like pixels? What are nits? A nit is an arbitrary, <laughs> made up unit of measurement to okay. measure the amount of tone between like, light and dark. Light okay. Made up. So it's a real world equivalent. It was made up by an industry that's trying to sound impressive. Yeah, that sounds like something like that. <laughs> we have a thousand nits. Oh, cool. Look, that's yeah. So many nits. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Wow. I have okay. nits. <laughs> oh man. All right. It's uh, it's got the curved screen just like we talked about with the yeah. last TV. I didn't really understand it and still don't. And ultra black, so it will shut off all the lights in your house when it turns on. <laughs> That's bad. Which, it's it's not really what it, not what it means. <laughs> it's actually a true black, which is the absence of color, right. and it sucks out light like a moth's eye. Ah. That's an actual quote. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. It sucks out light. Like a moth's eye. But don't you don't want it to suck up light? Because you want to have light so you don't fuck no, your eyes? No, just black things will be actually black and not oh, just like... Oh, that's oh, cool. Oh, it's still bright. So if you turn off your TV, like if you're not... Yeah, it won't be a right. black light. It'll be... or Yeah, I got you. That's cool. I'm trying to I'm trying different. to describe it. Like if your TV's in like standby right. mode, it'll actually be dark. Right. And not have like... Like it's kind of right. like... It's, it's not still bright. Black. I got you. It's turned off. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it's got a PlayStation streaming and a smart view app for Android and iOS. So basically, right. they're trying to say "fuck you, Roku" and well, Amazon Fire Stick. Unfortunately, and... smart TVs are going to eventually replace those things as people buy new TVs. Eventually, you won't need a Roku because your TV already has that shit built into it. Or I'm just going to keep my Roku and not buy a really, really, really smart TV. No, but eventually <laughs> you'll have to get a new TV, and when you do have to get a new TV, it'll already probably be a smart TV. Even but I'd rather get board. something. Like we have a smart TV. I just bought a Roku for it. <laughs> well, some smart TVs, like because of the smart, like the brand, mm -hmm. they might not be able to have like Netflix or something. Well, my parents so deals with these guys. Yeah. My parents' smart TV is pretty cool and all, but at the same time, it's slow like as Roku. shit. Right. No, they're also yeah. usually kind of slow. So much yeah. better. Yeah. It's like, I, I, oh, I, I'm clicking over to net, like say I want to go to YouTube from Time Warner Cable. It would take like, yeah, hit the button and it would have like a 10 second delay. It's like. But still, it's nice to be able to have everything in one remote and not have five different remotes. Well, my, my high sense yeah, TV, like, which I'm sure Roku, nobody has heard of, has a Roku uh, remote in it. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Roku has, I, I downloaded a remote for, like yeah, the Roku app has a remote in it, and it, I'm, I can just type in what I want to find instead there of is having to use the one stupid downside, though. alphabetical keyboard. There is on one downside screen. to the Roku remotes, and hmm. that is if, let's say, your dog eats your Roku remote, your physical Roku remote. And you go ahead. And this, this, yeah, this happened because uh, she thought it was a chew toy. 
Um, which is fine. We downloaded the app and we're able to use Roku on our phones now. But that's the only way we could use it. So when I changed the Wi-Fi in our house, all of a sudden I had no way of connecting the Roku to those smartphones. <laughs> so I had to I had to do my smartphone and I had to do a Wi-Fi hotspot and I had to set it up like it used to be with the old Wi-Fi so the Roku would connect mm-hmm. to it so I can change the settings. The you know, other the, downside is the first we, thing that pops up when you turn on the Roku app is buy a new Roku remote. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but at the same time, <laughs> you need a remote? No, I don't. The other downside <laughs> with the Roku remote is you don't have to point it at the Roku anymore with the new ones. So if you're laying right. in bed and roll over on it and it's just under the cover somewhere, it shuts off your show. It's like, god damn it. Yeah, I don't think you ever had to do that before in the first place. You can leave it on the bedside table like a normal human being. <laughs> My side of the bed is against the wall, so I'd have to crawl over Sterling to get to Meh. the remote. But yeah, and most most remotes are going to be like Bluetooth, and, and eventually you will never have to point them at you. Or they'll just again. be on your phone, because everything. Or on your phone, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there's lots of universal remotes you can download for your phone, but your TV has to be able to handle it. Or your yeah. phone has to have the right sensor on it to send out the signal. Yeah. yeah, which not a lot of them do. But anyway, TVs, let's move on yeah. <laughs> to another TV. <laughs> Um, it's no. A no, it's a, ah, it's Galaxy a... Galaxy Tab Pro. Yeah, it's a tab. Yeah, it's a dual-core Intel M chips at 2.2 gigahertz with 4 gigabytes uh, of RAM. Uh-huh. Yeah, to be specific, this is a Windows 10 2-in-1 unit. Uh, oh, so this will be... Uh, coming back. I, I saw like, one of these. And those things fell out of favor. Yeah. But still, it didn't have, like, impressive specs as a well, PC, but as a, as a tablet it did, but I, I was looking uh, at the wrong one. Didn't Windows just create something? The 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 Surface, one of the Surface, like, mm-hmm. it's a laptop, and it's, it's like, really good, but you can take off the screen and it becomes a tablet. But it's like yeah, but all, all, all the Surface Pros just use Windows 10 anyway. Yeah. Right, so why is this like a uh, you know why is this special? Because it has Windows 10. The other thing has Windows 10 in it also. Because when you take it off, it turns back into an Android tablet. Yeah, it's an Android tablet. So oh, you can have, that's cool. You can have Linux and Windows on and the you, same device. So device. you don't have to fucking touch Windows. Uh, right. Play Store. Yeah, yeah. they're they're marketing, yeah. and you can have all the Android apps because there's okay, that's significantly good. fewer that's because good. Windows is still new, just like when right. Android came out. There's no apps for it, but there's shit tons on. Well, iPhone. Windows, it, the Windows App Store isn't new, but now that Windows 10's out. Hopefully, it's Windows new. App it, well, it, it's, it's significantly newer than the Android market yeah, yeah. and the uh, Apple Store. True, thing. true. And um, four gigabytes of RAM, which is decent if you're not a gamer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not bad. Even even gaming, that's not awful. You can get by on that. Yeah, you can. But if you're looking for like the 60 FPS, right, right, all that. Keyboard included, a 5200 mAh battery, which should last a decent time. Yeah. And uh, the fact that, like we said, it's you know, like it goes from Windows to Android is a f- pretty awesome. No, that's nice. Thing. That's, uh, that's something I would like to be able to do with a lot of things. <laughs> Just like, yeah, right. Windows now. It's like, like when I want to use this laptop, games. I want fucking Windows, but I want <laughs> a tablet, I want fucking Android. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's that's what's nice. I hope well, they bring the him back well. Android. You know, yeah. it's a very heavily proprietarily changed Android, but yeah. But still, you've got connection to the App Store and all that stuff. That's all that matters. And right. because, uh, if if I could get the Android apps on a Windows phone, I'd probably be fine using a Windows phone. Yeah. But you yeah, can't. So, so. <laughs> I'm actually contemplating getting a Windows phone, and then they suck. So yeah, I didn't. Google Five happened. So yeah. 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 Project Five happened, and look, now I got the Google Nexus, and I love it. Yeah. Um, I can't wait. Can't fucking wait. It's fucking. It's it's the best phone I've had. <laughs> so we got that guy. Yeah, we got the uh, Notebook Nine laptops. There we go. Yeah. Those aren't We're... bad looking laptops. I mean, it would be nice if the big one had a fucking numpad on it, but whatever. Yeah, that's like, one thing. Thin. I absolutely hate about laptops. I, mean, I get it. It's a 15 inch model. Usually, you don't see numpads until you get to, like a 17 inch model. 17. Yeah. But still, it would have been cool. I hate the laptops don't have numpads, and I hate yeah, using well, laptops. My yeah. laptop has a numpad. The only the, when I had my laptop, because my parents got it for me, I used it hooked into my TV with yeah. a keyboard and a mouse like a desktop. No, I did that too, but it's nice. It, you gotta give it to laptops. You could take it and like if you want to go to the bookstore or library or whatever, you could take it with you, and you have your. Yeah, computer. I mean, it was nice because I used it at work a lot, but yeah. it's just not as useful time. on the day as smartphones. It's, it's not. Well, I would, think it, 
Well, Ford's websites don't keep up with the norm. So right. I still had to use Internet Explorer 7, I think it was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, uh, to use their uh, online workshop manuals and whatnot. So I, I had to use a laptop. Yeah. And it was it was all right, but I would never buy a laptop again, I don't think so. Yeah. But uh, it's got a 1080p screen, which is cool, yeah. I guess. It's, yeah. it's, it's starting to be the, it, it the, is norm. the norm. Yeah, it's what it's, it has <laughs> been for a while. It's got i5 to i7. Yeah. Well, it's because I can't afford one, but I probably can now. Yeah, yeah. you probably can now. So. <laughs> uh, it's got the USB-C, which is that's everything. Nice. You know, it's no, that's good. To, which um, yeah. is, I'm excited about. And um, USB-C for the win. Two times USB 3.0. I think my computer still has USB 2 on it, believe it or not. That's how no, I believe it. Is. Knowing the computer you bought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knowing exactly what you bought, I believe it, yeah. <laughs> it, it works for me sometimes. No, that's fine. And, um, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> and the, the, the Samsung Gear uh, will now support iOS users? Yeah. Yep. Right? Gear, the Gear. Yep. It's a smartwatch, right? That's too, yep, smart, it's a yeah. Samsung smartwatch. Well, yeah. now except iPhone people. Yeah. Good for so that's, that's iPhone. Yeah. If you don't, if you don't, want, if you don't want to buy that $500 iWatch, the iWatch or, whatever. or whatever it is, the Apple Watch is stupid expensive. So. Yeah. yeah. And this one's probably a little prettier and works better than the iWatch. So. Oh, and yeah. it's and it's a, it, I guess it expands their market a lot too because now they got everybody. That right. Can right. Just, oh, you have to have Android. Yeah. Even though everybody loves Android. Actually, so Sony. we've got Sony <laughs> stuff. TV. Yeah, Sony. Let's see, what did Brian write down here for me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hadn't read this stuff because he was putting this stuff in as it was coming out. Well, I actually so, read all of it, but I didn't realize there's the Tab Pro and the Notebook 9 laptop yeah. on there, so I was like, oh, shit. So it's a 4K oh, TV. <laughs> um, yeah. 75-inch. That's, 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 that's a big TV. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. That's yeah. bigger yeah. than you. That? Well, no, you could probably hang that, but still, that's a huge. You need a yeah. concrete wall to hang it, but you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. Well, smart t- TVs are a lot, thin, a lot lighter nowadays, so you could probably hang it. Pretty Four thousand nits! Oh my <laughs> god! Holy shit! That's um, significantly higher than Samsung's nits. Hinted at a video service for <laughs> HDR programming. Yeah, uh, they were talking about an app or a streaming service that takes all the shows that are filmed in with the appropriate HDR cameras, uh-huh. which are actually all of them because it's the screen technology that's 10, behi- 10 years behind, not the camera technology. Right. Uh, so, say Downton Abbey has done it, and Game of Thrones has done it, and okay. Mythbusters, which is no longer on the air, but imagine oh, they did it. Oh, we miss you, Mythbusters. <laughs> yeah. Um, imagine they all did it, but of course your TV can't show it, so they have this separate streaming service so you can just click on that show and watch okay. it with the HDR. I feel like it would be more... Like, I feel like I'd be happier if they started building in the um, DVRs into TVs. That would be yeah, awesome. Be nice. like, you but have then you'd SSDs, have to buy your TV guys. through your, your Why provider. You have a, why? Why? You could buy a DVR. Not, yeah, D, not, I'm not th- am I thinking DVR? Or am I thinking a of... Kivo? Yeah. Where you, you can could, record your shows? Yeah, you could buy that shit without going through your you know, your whoever you're paying for cable with. You could buy yeah. one. It's just it costs like six hundred dollars, but you could buy one straight up and just hook it up to your TV. Yeah. I don't know that. I thought it came yeah. specifically with your provider. No, no, I don't it, have it, cable it does usually, but you can buy one. Like I, I always thought, if I watched a lot of TV in the future, I'd probably just buy one because fuck, not having it. I did have one for a free month, and it was really yeah. nice being able to catch up on shows, but then I was right. like, that's a lot of money. That, that would be cool if they built those in the TVs using SSDs and stuff. Why not? But I guess it's cool that you can do HDR programming and things. That's all. <laughs> um, what else we got? Speakers. Let's see, uh, look at those things. Oh, click. There we go. Speakers. Oh, those are kind of nifty looking speakers. Nifty. So the multi room speakers, some numbers, high res audio. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the model numbers. Bar. It's just the model numbers. So what does it mean by a sound bar for 4K TVs? Does uh, it because, matter what the size of the TV is for the sound? Oh, yeah, because you get higher fidelity sound coming from higher definition feeds. Yeah, but can't you still receive a higher definition feed, just not actually have the video? But you can still get the audio? Yeah, but if the speaker isn't high enough definition to handle the... The audio wouldn't be as good. 4K, yeah, it's, it's just going right. to cut it off. But why specifically, why specifically say for 4K TVs? Because why 4K not? is the max right now. But that's yeah. resolution. Uh, audio but has it also its own comes with standards. Audio. 
like audio has its own standards and its own numbers, so why not use those? Why use 4K and compare it to the resolution? Because, because Sony. people who are buying it are not going to want to learn numbers for audio. That's true. This is for stupid people. You're right. Because <laughs> people who are, actually care about their audio aren't going to be looking at the fact that it's for 4K. They're going to be looking at fucking all these other fucking numbers that are like, oh, that's the audio quality right there I want. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Sure. 4,000 nits. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go buy a TV and ask every Best Buy per- person how many nits this TV has. Let's <laughs> see the reaction. Just see the reaction. I need at least ten thousand nits. <laughs> um. Anyway, let's move on to something a little more interesting in a camcorder. Oh wow, this is a nifty little camcorder. This is obviously your more uh, like. That's like know, the one I have. Yeah, this is like your more like you'd buy at Walmart type camcorder. I'm guessing. Right. I put this one, one, this one in specifically to bring us all the way back to the first one. Oh yeah, I got gotcha. you uh, by Canon. Just compare the specs. Well, also the prices are hugely different as well, so it's hard yeah, to compare they the are. specs. This one's cheaper. Yeah. Oh, is this specs better? Better. Yeah. Oh shit. I mean, it does say it has 4K. 120 uh-huh. FPS at 4K. Yeah. Which the other one only had 60 FPS <laughs> at 1080p. At 1080p. Okay, that's that's kind of sad then. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Sony. <laughs> it says a 20 times optical zoom with a Zeiss lens. That's quality shit right there. <laughs> and a 5 for stabilization. It. it has a gimbal in it. It has oh, a fucking wow. gimbal in it. Okay, that sounds a lot better. Than... So I can be running and take steady camera feeds. Much better. Sony seems to be good at making stuff that's expensive really cheap. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck, Cannon? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like you but, anyway. This uh, camera also gives you cancer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <Active> cancer. <laughs> oh, oh, that, yeah. That's ridiculous. Significantly cheaper and significantly yeah, better. Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. It's, and it's yeah. got a multi-directional microphone. And it's a little smaller, yeah. too, so it's a little bit more... Stop playing in the box! It's, <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to get in the box right now. It's like, I've never seen him do that before. Um, Hi, Jinx. Probably, <laughs> it's like, I don't know if people can hear it or not. Anyway, we also have <laughs> Blu-ray player, because those would still exist. <laughs> those still exist. Um, I don't pretty know, much don't, Roku's that can play discs. I don't know why you would yeah. ever buy it. Buy a PlayStation. Then you have a gaming console, you have a Blu-ray player, and you have a Roku all built in a fucking one console. Why would you ever buy a Blu-ray player, even if it has like stuff that you can do like Roku and whatnot? Get a PlayStation. Then if you never use the game part, it doesn't matter. At least you have the option to play games on it. Yeah, that's, and... that's, that's my thing. I don't know why I would ever... The only reason I ever bought a Blu-ray player was because it had to go on my computer. And I can't buy a PlayStation and go inside my computer. Well, you probably could. <laughs> <laughs> So that's It'd the only reason I bought a Blu-ray player at all, and it's not even a Blu-ray player, it's just a disk drive. But I don't know why you would ever buy a Blu-ray player. I mean, I guess maybe if you're old and don't understand how a PlayStation works, because it's a little bit more complicated than just hitting play. You know what I'd rather have than a Blu-ray player is a Laserdisc player. Yeah. Oh, and get a PlayStation 4, and then you can get that one service that I don't know if it's actually started yet, and you can actually like pay for specific fucking channels instead of all of them. Like, you could get Discovery Channel, and if that's the only channel you wanted to pay for and watch, you could do that. that it's a Sony seen. service. I can't remember what it's called, and I can't remember if it's come out yet, but it's supposed to be huge. Like, you can, like, go on there and get, like, you know, fucking HBO by itself, or, well, you can do that now. But, like, <laughs> Sci-Fi Channel, or Discovery Channel, you could, like, you could get, like, five awesome. channels that you like, and then add that on top of your, like, you know, your satellite you, TV. You. And then oh. you're... And then that's all you do. But yeah, it's through, it's through. I think it's through PlayStation or it's a Sony thing. I don't remember. But yeah, so that's also another reason to not get this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... I mean, that's great. Multi-room audio capabilities, I guess. That's a thing. Right, yeah. Um, what does that mean? Like, it just connects to multiple rooms? I don't understand what multi-room audio capabilities is because I didn't read the article. So... Sorry. But yeah, get a PlayStation 4. Done and done. <laughs> done and done. So that's all of our lists, and Brian has stopped his thing again. His um, internet died. Oh, oh no. Um, that's okay. We were just wrapping up anyway. Yeah, we were going to talk about whatever that company is, Intel, but we kind of <laughs> touched on it. Whatever that company is? <laughs> I couldn't remember uh, who it was. Intel. Uh, can you uh, hear me? We can hear you. Yeah. Yay. Yay. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I can't We're wrapping up. I'm done criticizing the Blu-ray player. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, we were um, going to talk a bit more on the keynote. I don't know if you want to mention anything, Brian. So yeah, what was the keynote? What exactly? It's just like a big presentation of Intel has money. <laughs> we can make okay. a circus here. Circus, we money to burn. circus. All right. Anything in particular, like a new CPU or something, or you know? Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> you can track <laughs> movements with a chip. That's they did an hour on that. All right. That doesn't seem like a good keynote, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean... I mean, I they have people much... up on stage, like, conducting symphonies just with their hands. I guess that's cool. Which I don't is, know if you that's con- keynote worthy. Cool. Don't you conduct sy- symphonies with your hands, though? Yes. Yes, yes they are conduct right in front of you, yes. Oh, this is over... Uh, that's interesting. So they have something on the other end that's actually staying with the person? <laughs> they have a right. robot. Now, that still wouldn't work, though. Sync issues. Unless you have, like, the best internet possible... You're not going to be perfectly in sync with them playing the music, so they're going to end up trying to resync themselves to you while you sync they would see them, and it's going to be a constant. No, asshole. it's a computer program. They're not using it to to talk oh, to actual players. Okay, so it's like <laughs> I got gotcha. you. It was like DDR just with music. Ah. Oh wow. Dance Dance Revolution for all the choir music teachers out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or band teachers out there. Uh, I mean, it looks like it was a really impressive show. Okay. I mean, they spent a lot of money on it, but it looks more like it was entertainment with Intel. Yeah, it sounds like it was just a bunch of flair. Being like, hey, we're Intel. Look at us make flashy lights. This is something, (laughs) but we don't care about it. And you know, like, I've actually gone to Intel keynotes at PAX. Yeah. And they did a really good job. They also gave away computers and shit. PAX is maybe more popular for them, man. Yeah. Maybe. It's also gaming specific, so. Right, right. All right. So that's all the stuff that we have on our docket from CES. I'm sure there's more that either came out a few seconds ago or it's stuff we just missed. There will be more. Yeah, we might cover a little bit next wow. week of whatever comes out the rest of this yeah, week. Yeah, if anything big comes out. Uh, yeah. but... Sony has created a turntable that lets you digitize your vinyl collection. Yeah, I saw that, but there's already stuff like that that exists. Yeah, so whatever. Um, and Intel is teaming up with ESPN to build connected snowboards. That's a thing. No, the only downside with digitizing your vinyl collection is you'll lose uh, quality. Unless it uh, makes up for that. No, because a digital sound wave is not a smooth wave like it is with playing through a no, I know that. thing. So it's still not going to sound as good as it did on the record. Okay. Oh, my God. Toshiba, remember them, everyone? Toshiba uh-huh. is creating Toshiba. a tablet that is a Surface competitor. That is so underwhelming that Microsoft <laughs> is selling it on their store. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's a big fuck you. <laughs> oh, that's really cool, guys. You, it's okay if we sell it on our store? All right, cool. Oh my god, that's really bad. <laughs> that's Poor just Toshiba. a good way for them to be like, okay, so this is the Toshiba, and this is ours. I actually, uh, I actually don't think I have a Toshiba anything. It's like, can I buy the Toshiba? Technically, you can, but why don't you take a look at ours some more? <laughs> yeah. Uh, VW is showing off quick charging electric microbus concept. Whatever. Ooh. This is a bunch of boring stuff, though. Let's wrap it up. There's a swagway <laughs> that's also a robot. Yeah. A swagway. Uh, swagway. L- uh, LG is creating an OLED screen that you can fold up into different segments. That's cool. Intel has a powered smart hard hat with thermal vision, so you can like be RoboCop. Oh boy. Mm. RoboCop. Yep. Uh, a dropper, dropper <laughs> water monitors and listens for flow to help you conserve water. Probably really good for California. Probably really good for Africa too. Cool story. <laughs> uh, Fisher Price is coming out with a caterpillar bot will, that will teach kids how to code. Mm. Um, nice. There's a drone with six blades on it that's overkill. It's just copyright. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's copyright material. HP has um, some gaming desktop that has that is a new uh, ad. Vive compatible. Um, Intel and New Balance are making shoes that track where you run. <laughs> yep. Um, and that's it. Cool. Oh, cool. and Dell is coming out with a wireless monitor. Okay. Why would so you ever it. want a wireless monitor? But all right. So you can have even more sync issues when you're gaming. <laughs> you can mount it on the TV or on the ceiling so you can lie back and watch it. That's what TV's for. <laughs> you get yourself a nice flat screen TV, you mount that shit up on the wall. 
And there's all, definitely different ways to plug that shit in. <laughs> anyway. Yep. So that was the thing. That was the, that mm-hmm. was the last second updates. Um, yeah, check out our videos. I'm just, you know, <laughs> yep. Check this one out. It's uh, our top five. Of Are you fucking on my farm? <laughs> you haven't seen this yet? You this fucking is, dick. No, this is your video. No, it's not. Hold on, let me watch. Oh, yeah, I'm making the road wider. That's right. No! It was... <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> I was making it a three-way because it looked really stupid with you just having one not centered going off to the left stupid. there. <laughs> oh, I hate you. I thought I, I thought... I forgot I got this footage. Oh, God, I caught you, you in the act. Caught me in the act. How come you haven't watched it yet? I have. I just I, I skipped to my part because I'm like watching the videos I recorded. Uh, anyway, so wow. yeah, go, go check that out. Um, got some games up there. <laughs> this is like and subscribe. <laughs> um, well, this is how we're gonna do it off the, all the time now. I think it's gonna work out just doing this. Uh, yeah. doing it this way. Yeah. I wish there was a way um, we could like push. Oh, hey, look, the chat finally oh. turned on. No, it didn't. Oh, is that the is that the in? It's the group chat. Oh, okay, never mind. Damn it, Steve. I saw some stuff and I was like, hey, look. Oh god. Uh, anyway, so yeah, thanks. Like and subscribe. Uh, we do these not every Tuesday, every Monday. Every Monday. Uh, <laughs> uh, wink, wink. Uh, and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Stop rocking.